hello guys welcome back so now in this video we are going to basically create a api folder or you can say the app api directory where we will uh, create dot php files as you know php is a backend language now we will understand this process through a diagram okay so you will get the complete idea first of all i'm going to create a api folder okay where basically we will implement our api service so go to the c drive where we have our xamp okay where we have our xamp now inside the xamp we have ht docs inside the ht docs we will create a folder new folder and this will be our api folder basically inside this folder we are going to implement our api or you can say the api service so we can say api underscore or you can say the rest api okay so we will give it name as api underscore clothes underscore store online store or so on okay but i will suggest to go with the same name later maybe you will get confused that is you will have a different name i will have a different name so maybe you will get confused that's why i suggest to go with the same name so this is our api underscore clothes underscore store this is our folder basically where we will implement our api service remember that so you can say that this is our api now let's understand this uh, i mean the whole process which we will implement and how our app will basically work this is really important for this project so the flutter application phone simply means that in our this phone it can be iphone or it can be android smartphone okay so in our this phone uh, basically we have installed our app our flutter app okay so this is our client that is our flutter application is inside this phone which we will implement and test using this phone let me tell you one more time we are developing the flutter application okay and that application we test using this smartphone this mobile phone okay this is our client client side you can say so this is the api service which we will implement and this is our server server simply means our mysql database okay as you know xamp is our our, our server okay xamp is our servers with it it comes with a mysql database and you know that uh, flutter application which you are developing it is basically using the dart programming language which provide us the front end while the back end or you can say the data i mean uh, that is the language which communicate with the server is the php language okay php is a server side language so in simple words now if i tell you let's take an example of the sign up page okay in the flutter application on our smartphone when the uh, user sign up that is the user fill up the sign up form providing their name password and email and click on the sign up button so after clicking on the sign up button a request will be sent using our api service okay using our api service which we will implement okay step by step from this video onward so after clicking on the sign up button inside the flutter application when the user click on the sign up button a request will be sent using api and that request will be go to the server or you can say to the mysql database that is as you know i have i am explaining it for the sign up exam sign up okay user sign up let's say the user was john so john name john email and john password after clicking on sign up button this data is gone using the api service which we will implement okay it will go using the api and it will be sent to the server so it will be saved inside the mysql database once it is saved inside the mysql database then the response will come from uh, go from the server or you can say from the mysql database once the user information is saved successfully in the database in the mysql database then a response will be generated that is that response will go using the api service which we implemented okay that response will go and it will tell to the user that is your account has been created successfully okay that is on the phone it will show toast or pop up that is your account has been successfully created so i hope till now you have got the exact idea 
Now, as I told you, for the front end, that is the Flutter application. Flutter is basically front end, okay? So, the dot programming language. The mobile application which we will develop for the smartphone, it will be using Flutter, that is a dot programming language, okay? Which is a front end language, okay? So, using dot programming language, we will develop our Flutter application for the mobile phone. So that thing we will do using dot programming language that is the developing the mobile application or you can say the front end we will develop using the flutter dot programming language however now the API service or you can say the back end that is which will be responsible for uh, sending data okay and then uh, sending uh, a response that is sending the response from the server to the mobile phone and show it the response to the user as a return all these things that is the API service okay this thing will be performed using our API service now the API service which is basically you can say the server side language or you can say the backend language that is basically PHP that thing we will our API service or you can say the backend we will implement using PHP programming language and remember PHP is backend language or you can say the server side language so basically the sending of data receiving of data all these things basically we will implement that is the backend uh, operation we will implement using PHP okay for the communication or you can say this API service, let me tell you in simple words now, this API service we will develop using PHP. PHP is a backend language or you can say a server side language. So these requests which will be sent and then received that is POST and GET which is basically performed using HTTP. HTTP. Okay. That is POST and GET and so on. So I hope you have got the idea now how this whole project we will develop and how everything will be working. This is really important information, okay? As a developer, you must have this important concepts, especially for this project, for example, where we are, where we have our own server, XAM server, okay? Our own MySQL database, okay? So especially for a project like this, which we are developing in this course, this information is really important. So uh, please again watch this video from the start in order to understand it completely.